The governor's announcement comes as we're getting a closer look at the aftermath of these nightly demonstrations and what cleanup crews face each morning. Fox 12's Amber Wilmarth went behind the fences surrounding the federal courthouse and shows us what it looks like. We're behind the fence of the federal courthouse to get a closer look at some of the damage done here and at the garbage that's been thrown over during the nightly demonstrations. Right now you can see cleanup is already underway. Shoes, teddy bears, scooters. There's a variety of items that end up over the fence and onto the federal courthouse's steps. Federal officers led us inside to see the aftermath of last night's demonstrations. Cleanup crews arrived as we did to begin sweeping up like they've done for the past several mornings. The acting secretary of Homeland Security, Chad Wolf, says the nightly chaos and illegal activity that happens here at night is why federal officers will remain in Portland and continue to protect this building. He stood his ground on that stance during a press conference over the phone this morning. We'll remain there again, as I said. Uh, until we see that the plan is working, until we see that the courthouse uh, is not continually attacked and tried to be, you know, burned down night after night after night. Uh, so they're there today and they'll remain there until that's the case. This comes shortly after Oregon Governor Kate Brown's announcement that they've agreed on a plan for federal officers to leave the city. Wolf says he and Brown agreed on a joint plan to end the violence and says that includes a larger presence of Oregon State Police troopers. But Wolf adds his officers won't be leaving until he says the attacks on the courthouse stop. Reporting in downtown Portland, Amber Wilmarth, Fox 12, Oregon.